actually get to be about 35 years old, all things going well, uh, because she's got a lot of care here. She's not going to be in front of predators like she would have been 68 million years ago. And I gotta say, this whole time, I've been my eye on her, and you've noticed that she's kind of been doing this little swaying motion a little bit. That is a good thing. When she does this, that is her way of letting me know she feels secure, she feels content. And that right there, that low vocalization is another sound that indicates to me she's feeling good. So I want to take advantage of this, and I want to do another training exercise. Uh, this time I want it to be for the entire group, or whoever wants to participate. If that is you, calmly, so we don't startle her, come and stand right here in front of me. And adults, you're allowed to have fun today, too. There we go. What is that? Perfect. This is working very well. Stay just where you are. That's great. So we're going to do something a little different, but first, I want to make sure she realizes how many more people are in front of her right now, so we're all going to bow the way you saw earlier. So everyone put your horns up, and let's bow in three, two, one. Good, okay, so she's saying yes, I see everybody more clearly now. Now she's been having a great day, she's been a very happy girl today, so I want to do one of her favorite things called happy feet. Very, very easy for you and me to do. When we, guys, uh, when we do this, just make sure you don't scooch closer to her. If anything, take a couple little steps back here because she might move a little bit. We're going to do happy feet, which is just this. Let me see you do this with me, everybody. Now, we were talking about how she likes to mirror behavior. And that cock of the head right there and that motion. Look at you guys. You're able to get her to do so quickly. She's doing that gorgeous little triceratops tap dance. And singing to you guys. We got to put water right here. back. Now, was that easy for you guys? Would you agree? Do you think that was easy for Juliet? You think so? Enough? I like your answer there because she made it look very easy. She did a great job right now. That could be a pretty difficult thing for her to do. You guys see this big skull of hers we've been talking about? All of us here, this is solid bone with the exception of that little horn right there on the tip of her nose, which means it's very, very heavy about a third of her entire body weight. Imagine if your head was a third of your body weight. So it's a lot of weight that's forward in her body, lower to the ground. When she was doing this, did she lose her balance? No. no. Did she trip over herself? No. no. That means we got a very healthy dinosaur. Her motor skills are functioning properly. She's got really good strength building in her neck that she's going to need to hold up her head as she continues to grow really, really big. And then those motor skills and the balance, like I said, are all functioning very, very well. Now, even though she did a great job, that can be a little tiring for her. It does take a lot of energy. So it's very possible that she might turn around and go back to the paddock soon. Um, just in anticipation of that, 